Hello everybody, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Bitwig Studio 2, well it's here, released out to the public and uh, ready for everyone to attack and have a lot of fun with in their music productions. And I just wanted to uh, go ahead and put this video up and we're going to take a look at uh, dual editing or side-by-side -side editing with uh, multiple clips. Let's just call it multiple clip editing. That sounds like something right there, doesn't it? All right, so what we'll do is let's start with uh, audio loops. So let's go get some drum beats here. Uh, something easy and simple, never too complicated. So let me hear what this guy does right here. Yeah, that'll work. So we're going to drag this guy over, drop it in a clip. We'll say clip one, audio one. And then let's take a completely different folder and a completely different clip. And that'll work. Actually, let me get this one. Yeah, we'll go with this one. All right, so now we've got two clips loaded, audio one, audio two. Here's a clip, and here's a clip. We can play them. And whatever we like. Easy stuff, right? Let me move this guy out of the way. So let's say I highlight this first one. You can tell it's highlighted by the white square pronounced around the outside there. And I'm going to hold down, and I'm working with a Mac. So you can hold down Command or Shift and then highlight the other one. Now they're both highlighted. With them both highlighted, I'm going to go down here to our... Uh, let's go to Edit. Yeah. So we're going to click Edit. Now Edit is showing me both clips. And I'm going to scroll these guys, zoom in, open them up here a little bit. And what you might see when you first click edit is this. This may be just like one clip that's highlighted showing you even though you have two highlighted. So what you want to do is look at this little collection of like uh, folders or a stack of papers or something like that, whatever they want to call this uh, icon. You click this guy and it's like a multi-layer icon. So now we've got two layers visible to us. Our two selected layers from the mix over here are now available to us on our edit screen. And what's cool about this is now I can swap these sounds back and forth between these two and create my own complete loop. So let's do that. So there's a couple shortcuts that uh, exist so for your editing tools. So let's put use to, put good use to those. So Let's hear which one's playing first. Okay, so the bottom one is the one we're playing right now. So up top you can kind of tell there's a kick, there's a snare, a couple hi-hats. It's why I picked an easy loop. You can kind of see what's going on there. So on the snare, I'm going to hit number five on my keyboard. It's going to give me my knife, and I'm just going to cut that guy out. Go back to number one on my keyboard. And that'll give me my pointer tool, and now I can just hit delete, and that guy's gone. And let's go down here, and we'll hit number five again. That'll give me the knife tool. And back to number one, and we'll hit delete, and those two guys are gone. So I'm down here on the bottom one now. I'll hit number five, knife this guy out, and go back to number one. And I'm just going to drag this section that I just cut. And I'm going to place it wherever I want up here. And where I want it is right there. So let's go over here now and find another one that we want. Let's say we'll take, uh, let's take this guy. So number five again, knife. Number one, pointer. Let's drag and drop this guy. We'll put him, eh, let's put him right there. So now I've just taken audio events from here and put them into this clip. So let's hear what we've done. Let's go back to our mix. Highlight this guy. 
So pretty cool stuff, right? So we did that with audio, highlighting two and then swapping the sounds back and forth. Let me uh, just get rid of these two channels and we will go with insert instrument tracks. And now I'm gonna go back over here and we're gonna grab some MIDI. And I'll show you the advantage within MIDI that makes things a lot of fun. And uh, I'm sure you'll figure this out real quick once you see this little trick. So. We're going to take uh, a piano loop. And I'll drag it over. Get rid of this guy. And now with the piano loop selected, I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard. Drag and drop. Go back, select the first one. Again, you can tell which one's selected by the white box indicating it's selected. Hold down my Command key and now I've got both selected. Go back to edit and with my little stack of papers over here selected. Now if I fold this both MIDI loops are visible to me and you can tell right here how the notes repeat. So A4 is our top note up top, A4 is our top note for this bottom section and they're slightly discolored so they're easy to spot. So what's the advantage of doing this within MIDI? Well we've got that piano loop that's playing our chords and how often do you see, you know, producers use the technique of just taking the bottom row to use their bass line, which makes it super easy if you do it in this way, because now, now you know you, exactly what notes you're taking out and what you're leaving, and it's all just super, super easy to visualize and see, and it gives you a lot of flexibility as far as going in and moving things around. So now, that quick and that easy, I've got a bass line and a chord line. And that was that simple and that easy. So there's my bass line right here, and there's my chords. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> does not get too much easier than that. We'll go back here, and let's just say we'll label this guy chords, and we'll label this guy bass. So all we have to do now is the polysynth has got a chord thing going. I won't really worry about sound design. And let's just go grab us a bass real quick here. I'll grab something from the polysynth again. Just maybe some easy preset to find here. Let's go with, say, like bass two. So now I've got this bass line and this chord line, and the bass line is going to follow my chords. And uh, let's make sure everybody's looped. I'll go over here to the inspector and loop this guy. And then I will loop this guy as well. So everybody's looped. Get them out of the way. And we'll launch the scene. And just like that, we edited a bass line from a piano chord line. So Great stuff there. Really, really easy and fun to work with. Um, hopefully that uh, was something exciting for you to learn. And um, if you've already downloaded and installed and been goofing around with Bitwig Studio 2, take a look at this and see if it's something that uh, might help you in your future uh, music productions. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play. And as always, peace.